Welcome to Syntax Error. I'm Prateksha Jain and as I said, I'm going to come up with data types in more detail. So in this video, I'm going to make you understand about numeric data type and Boolean. So numeric first of all includes integer, complex number and floating point numbers. So let us look after the integer first. So I have stored this one in variable A and let's uh, print A. I got the result as one. Now, let me show you the data type of this variable A. So, I'll simply write your type inside round brackets. I'm going to just pass on the variable name and I'm going to press enter. It is giving me class int. Now, why it is giving me class? Because Python has already a set of class which is storing data types in it. It has defined each and every type in it. So, it is from that class, it is giving me a result as int. That means this variable a is storing data of type integer. Now, if I want a specific data type, so I can write like a is equal to str. str stands for string, taking a string data type. And if I try to pass numeric data in it, let's see what happens. See, it accepted it. But let me print this. See, this 2 has got stored in string format and not in integer format. Now, if I try to know the data type of variable A, it is going to return me string. Now, you might be thinking that value of variable A got replaced with this str2. No, it is nothing such because Python doesn't allow this. Python doesn't allow the value to get replaced because when I uh, stored one in variable A, the one got assigned with a memory location and not the variable got assigned with a memory location. Similarly, str2 got assigned with a memory location, different memory location than one. But A, that is my variable didn't get assigned with any memory location. That is why Python says that I will allow a single variable to point to two different memory locations, but I won't allow a data to get replaced uh, in some same memory location. I hope this is clear and I'll be making it more clear in my mutable and immutable data. This bull is a keyword for boolean. Now, as I said in my previous video that boolean represents only true and false. So let us see what does this uh, returns. It returned me bull because I have written your bull A. Bull of A returned me true because I have stored some value in A. But if I store B is equal to 0. Now let's see uh, what will be returned. True or false. It returned me false because if I store uh, 0 or if I write b is equal to false it is always going to return me false this is what is mentioned in the python itself okay talking about the floating numbers if i store fl is equal to 5.6 let's check its type it is returning me float because I have mentioned a decimal point. Now, uh, let's look up for complex number quickly. If I'm storing com is equal to 4j. Even if I store 4j, it is not going to give me an error. And it is going to return me type as, yes, you guessed it right, complex. Complex is a mixture of imaginary and um, a real number. So let me just rewrite it. If I write your 4 plus, it gonna again return me complex. If I write your type, uh, not type, com is equal to 4 plus 3. Let's see what happens. It gave me an error because it always takes a number. That's all basic about numeric data type and billion. See you in the next video. Thank you.